hello viewers i uh, hope you are doing well in this video we are going to talk about two very interesting tools uh, one of them is screener uh, which is a great tool for you to screen your stocks and filter your stocks and the other tool which we are going to talk about is an ai tool called chat gpt and we are going to cover how can you use screener along with chat gpt in order for you to make intelligent uh, investment uh, decisions right so as i said uh, the tool screener uh, is nothing but a google like search engine and we will see a demo of it uh, but it allows you to filter companies on queries it allows you to write uh, human like text and it allows you to basically filter companies as per different criterias now what is chat gpt chat gpt is a very powerful ai tool and you must have heard about it in news uh, lately if you go to any blog if you go to any website if you open any newspaper uh, everyone is talking about chat gpt so we are going to look at this ai tool and how can it help you to do your research better and how can it help you to make those better uh, decisions we will get into the depth of it okay viewers so this is the home page of screener what i have done is i have already logged into the platform i have signed up and i have logged in and after i logged in this is the home page which i am getting so uh, once you sign up you should also get a screen like this and it it has something which is called like a watch list and the watch list is the are the companies which you have added in the watch list you can obviously go uh, and add any companies which you would want to add in the watch list i have already done that so i'll i'll recommend you to go and uh, maybe try to add a few companies as per your choice so let me try to show you that like maybe let me add icici bank and now there are seven companies in my watch list and now when i go to the home page <laughs> it is basically a facebook kind of a timeline giving me the uh, important corporate actions or any announcements these companies have made in the last few days uh, okay so one of the most important aspect of this tool is it allows you to search for any 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 company for that matter so let's say i am interested to know more about sbi cards and payments so i go in the search bar i add the company name and the moment i do that it takes me to a page and it shows me <coughs> excuse me it shows me <coughs> a ton of information about this specific stock now at a very high level what this page is all about it is giving me some information about the market cap the stock pe the price of the stock it gives me the link to the bsc page of the stock the nsc page of the stock uh, it is giving me certain charts uh, it is giving me uh, some analysis which the tool does for me it gives me how this specific stock is comparing to its competitors uh, it is giving me quarterly quarter on quarter information of the stock from march 2020 to march 2023 how the stock the quarterly results of sbi cards have been quarter on quarter it is giving me profit and loss information on an yearly basis so from <coughs> 2013 to 2023 for the last 10 years what is the pnl of this specific stock which is sbi cards in this case it is also showing me the balance sheet of sbi cards year on year it is showing me certain ratios like the roe roce pe and so on and you can obviously go and add more ratios if you would want to do that it is showing you a shareholding pattern <coughs> it is showing you how on a quarter on quarter basis the share holding pattern of sbi cards is moving up or moving down and then at the end of it is it is also showing you any important documents about this specific stock it is also giving you links on the bsc or the nesc website about the annual report say for example this is the annual report of sbi cards which they have uploaded on bsc india website uh, so in a nutshell this page is giving you ton of information about sbi cards uh, it is basically giving you fundamentals about sbi cards and now 
you might be getting overwhelmed looking at all these ratios all these numbers uh, and we are going to give you a hack we are going to show you how you need not be a financial expert you need not be a ca you need not be a financial advisor working on the wall street but still you can comprehend these values and you can look at these values these charts to derive information and make that important decision whether you should be investing in say sbi cards and payments or not so how do you make that decision we are going to club this with something called chat gpt and i'm going to give you a live demo of how can you use chat gpt along with screener to help you make those uh, important decisions all right my viewers now i am going to show you chat gpt uh, i'm sure uh, many of you have already experienced it but i'm going to give you the link again in the description so if you are new to the platform again you need to go to chat.openai.com you need to sign up i have already done that and once you log into chat gpt it basically gives you like a uh, like a like a uh, window where you can write any query and as you write the query the chat gpt tries to give you uh, an answer to it so uh, you can you can write any text as you write to a human and then you can expect the uh, the platform to give you an answer to it all right so we will get into the depth of it <clears throat> but this is the interface of the platform and since our purpose here is to understand how can we use this ai tool to make better investment decisions uh, we are going to look at screener and then we are going to go back and forth between the two tools in and we are going to make that uh, I, i'll show you how do you use both the tools together so let's say for example uh, we want to look at uh, infosys uh, and now we want to make a decision uh, or we want to understand the fundamentals of infosys and this is the page where we arrive now the first parameter which it is showing is the market cap capitalization of infosys and i may or may not know what market capitalization mean so i'll go to chat gpt and i will say uh, you are a financial teacher to me explain me in simple words what does market capitalization mean all right so i am telling it the persona which the uh, chat gpt should take and then i am telling it tell me what the market capitalization of any stock mean and uh, and then i am saying can you simplify it for me as well and then it tries to give me a better answer and what it says is the market capitalization tells you the entire company would cost if we added up the prices of all its shares it helps us to compare the companies and see which ones are bigger or more valuable remember a bigger market cap usually means a bigger and more established company why a smaller one means that the company is smaller now okay maybe i would want to know what is the formula to compute a uh, market capitalization of infosys and basically what it says is it the market cap of infosys is basically the total number of outstanding shares into the current share price so it also gives me uh, a sense of what this formula means uh, and then i say how do i make investment decision looking at the market cap of any of and then when i ask it or prompt it with this specific question uh, chat gpt is trying to give me an answer and says that okay market capitalization can give you an idea of the company size and how it compares to other companies and uh, large cap companies are generally more established and stable while small cap companies may have higher growth potential but can be riskier and it tells me specifically that infosys is a large cap company 
then it also tells me what are some of the other things i should be looking at i should look at i should compare the market cap with its peers <clears throat> i should look at its earning and valuation i should look at financial performance and so on <clears throat> all right so even though when i started from this page and i had no idea what a market cap means uh, and i used chat gpt i was able to give a, a a comprehension of what this specifically means it is basically the list of all the shares uh, into the price of the stock as on today uh, okay uh, fair enough now maybe i would want to know uh, what does stock pe mean now it shows me that infosys has a pe ratio of 25.5 and i would want to know more i i don't know the concept of pe so i'm going to go back to the chat gpt and i'm going to uh, ask it uh, can you explain to me in simple words what does stock pe mean i do not all right so now chat gpt comes back and tells me that the price to earnings is a simple way to understand how much investors are willing to pay for each dollar the company earns it's like checking the price tag of a company's earnings and then it gives you more information that a higher pe suggests that investors have high expectations for the company's future growth and are willing to pay more for its earnings on the other hand a low pe mean that investors are not as optimistic about its growth prospects okay so maybe i ask what does a pe of 25 mean for infosys <clears throat> and then it tries to give me an explanation of what does a pe of 25 mean and it is basically telling me <clears throat> a pe of 25 for infosys mean that investors are willing to pay 25 times the company's earning per share to own a share of the company stock to put it simply if infosys has an eps of $1 then the pe ratio is 25 it means the stock price would be 25 times the earning per share which would be 25 in this case so again it's trying to explain me in a very very simple terms that the 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 investors for every 1 rupee of earning the investors are willing to put a price tag of 25 on infosix so uh, or in other words what we can say is that for every 25.5 uh, price of the share the infosix has an earning of 1 rupee right so uh, now i might be curious to ask uh, shall i invest in infosys which has a pe ratio of 25 all right so i asked its specific question shall i invest in infosys which has a pe ratio of 25 and it gives a disclaimer but it also tells that a pe ratio of 25 indicate that the investors are willing to pay 25 times the company's earnings for each share which was the definition of it uh, then i might be prompted uh, uh, how do i use pe ratio of it stocks to make an investment decision all right so if i go in this section of the page it is giving me a peer comparison and it is telling me that tcs has a pe of 29.25 infosys has a lower pe hcl actually has 20.98 wipro has 19.66 so these are certain pe ratios but how do i uh, if i may not have any understanding of what a pe mean uh, how can chat gpt help me so i i asked this specific question how do i use pe ratio of it stocks to make an investment decision and this is what the chat gpt is telling me <clears throat> that compare the pe ratio of the it company with other similar companies in the it industry this will give you an idea of how it is valued relative to its competitors right 
Now it also tells me that compare the PE ratio of the IT company with overall market PE ratio. This can give you a broader perspective of whether the company is relatively expensive or cheap compared to the market average. Now I might be more curious to know how do I know if Infosys is expensive or cheap based on its PE ratio right now I'm kind of trying to ask it how I would ask a teacher or how I would want to ask a, a, a advisor uh, or somebody whom I want to take mentorship from and this is what the chat GPT is giving me it is saying that to determine whether Infosys is relatively expensive or cheap based on its PE ratio you can compare its current PE ratio with its historical PE ratio and also the PE ratio of the companies in the same industry and now it is giving me a specific algorithm or a specific logic how I should do that so first it is saying that look at the historical PE ratio look at Infosys historical PE ratio over the last seven years if the current PE ratio is higher than its historical average it may suggest that the stock is relatively expensive however if the PE ratio is lower than its historical average it may indicate that the stock is relatively cheaper okay so let's try and try to do that now if I come to the charts here there is a chart which which says here PE ratio I click on it and <clears throat> what it is basically saying that the the blue line which you are seeing the continuous blue line it is basically showing me the PE ratio and it is basically telling me that in the year 2018 it had a PE of 18.5 and it had a peak PE of 37.5 and currently as on today as we record this video the PE ratio of Infosys is 25.5 now it is also showing me the median PE so now chat GPT has already given us some background that if the PE ratio is less than the historical average it may suggest that the stock is relatively if, if it's more than the historical average then it's an expensive stock however it if it is less than the historical average it means that it is trading below its normal price and it you are getting it at a cheaper price so <clears throat> this chart even though when we started this video uh, we were getting overwhelmed by looking at this chart but now we are trying to get some sense that this is the PE ratio and currently the PE ratio of Infosys is 25 on a historical 10 year period uh, the, the PE ratio has been hovering around 20 uh, and it is at 25.5 if so if you look at a 10 year period the PE ratio is on the higher side but if we look at a five year window, the PE is right at the, the median for five years. So we may get a sense that, you know what it is actually, we are getting the stock at a decent price. The PE is not very less below the median, but still at a price of 1475. If we were to buy it today, uh, we, we are getting it at a fair price. It's not overvalued as per the PE value. Uh, okay now so this is one example of how even though when we started this exercise we had no idea what our pe mean but now using the chat gpt we are now trying to get a comprehension of this specific attribute now let's look at one more attribute like eps now the chat is also showing something called eps now <clears throat> i don't know what eps means but it is showing me that the eps of this share is going up quarter on quarter it is 56.26 as on uh, April and it has only been rising. Uh, it's basically showing an upward trajectory. So now let's go back to ChatGPT and try to ask what is EPS? Uh, explain me in simple words. And now it's saying EPS means earning per share and it is like a slice of company's profit cake that is divided among its shareholders. Uh, and then it gives an example that, for example, if a company made 1 million in profits and it has 500,000 shares, then EPS means that for every one share, it was making $2 in profits. So the earning per share is basically uh, a, 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 a 
basically an attribute which is telling you it's an indicator that for every stock in the market how much profit is being made by infosys now uh, i i should ask what should be the trend of eps for a good fundamental stock all right so now i'm specifically asking chat gpt that how can i use eps to identify good stocks which are fun fundamentally strong uh, and basically what it is telling me is that for good fundamental stocks the trend of eps generally should show consistent growth over a period of time a rising eps is a positive sign because it indicates that the company's earnings are increasing however it's crucial to consider the context and the factors that drive this growth all right and then it gives me a more detail of what how can i use eps but now my next question to the chat gpt platform is how can i use eps and pe ratio to identify a fundamentally strong stock all right now i'm not only looking at one ratio i'm not only looking at pe independently i'm not looking at eps independently but what i'm asking is how can i use eps and pe together to identify a fundamentally strong stock and this is what the chat gpt comes back and tells me using eps and pe ratio together can be a useful approach to identify a strong stock which is fundamentally strong and here's how you can use these metrics look for stocks with a consistent and positive eps growth over multiple quarters or years a company that is steadily increasing its earning per share shows a healthy financial performance so okay it's given me an indication of what should be the eps of a fundamentally strong company now it is also telling me something about the pe ratio and it's saying that a declining pe ratio combined with eps growth may suggest that the stock price is not increasing disproportionately to its earnings this could indicate a reasonably priced or undervalued stock all right so do you see uh, how beautifully uh, chat gpt is giving me an insight that eps should be growing and if pe ratio is declining or it's going down in con conjunction with eps growth then it is an indicator then that the stock is actually undervalued or it's at a reasonable price so if we go back and check infosys both these both these uh, parameters or criteria which which chat gpt suggested us is actually happening if you see the eps was 38.4 um uh, sorry uh eps was 49.16 and it has come down it has basically increased to 57.82 and the pe ratio has moved down from 38.4 to almost 25.5 as we record this video so the pe is definitely going down and the eps is going up which is also an indication that this stock is actually relatively uh undervalued and or we are getting it at a uh at a reasonable valuation it is not overvalued all right so um this is for infosys maybe let me show you for another stock uh, which is generally known to be overvalued and i will pick up and say an, an adani enterprises stock <clears throat> and i'll show you what the pe ratio is talking about so if you look at uh, adani <clears throat> it has a pe of almost 427 it used to have and it has come down to 103 and if you look at the eps of this share it is sometimes 4 rupees earnings per share and now if you look at the latest numbers <clears throat> the pe ratio of adani adani enterprises is the pe is 102 and the earnings per share have come down to 23.37 uh, and almost a year back the earnings was 7.51 um so so now i think you are getting a sense of how can i use both these indicators to make a judgment whether adani enterprises today is overvalued or undervalued looking at this chart it it is def, it was definitely overvalued in the month of september where it had a pe of 400 and an eps of 8.66 
and it has definitely come down. The PE has gone down. The EPS has, has gone up. So definitely the stock has improved tremendously. So if you were getting it at a higher price, almost uh, uh, nine months back, now the valuation is in your favor. So if you had to invest in Adani in September vis-a-vis -vis today, definitely today you are getting it at a much more better valuation, right? And how did we come to know all of this? Because we use chat GPT. Uh, we kept asking questions, relevant questions to chat GPT and it gave us a very insightful information of how can we use PE and EPS ratio to make that judgment. Now, uh, see this, this screener is giving you tons of information and this information is as good as you can comprehend. But if you were to, uh, you know, use this in conjunction with uh, chat GPT, uh, your, your understanding of these concepts can be so, so much more better. And as you keep doing it, again and again as you keep going to these ratios you try to keep asking the right questions uh, in a matter of few days or a matter of few weeks you will try to getting a sense of what these indicators mean and then when you look at the chart of any of these companies when you look go to the page of any of these companies you will get a very good idea of how these stocks are performing so let's say ROE. Now, I did not know anything about ROE. It shows that Adani has an ROE of 9.63%. But when I go here and I ask uh, ChatGPT what is ROE, first of all, it tells me what ROE means. It means return on equity. And in simple terms, it is a measure of how effectively a company is generating profit from the money invested by its shareholders. So it's, it's also giving me an example that, if, say, for example, if a company has an income of $1 million, and the shareholders uh, shareholders equity is say 10 million then the roe would be 1 upon 10 which is 10 percent right so we started with no understanding of what roe meant but now we when we look at this number of 9.63 percent we are getting a sense that if the shareholders value is 100 million or 100 million rupees uh, adani enterprises is making uh, uh, is making a revenue of 9.63% as per the definition of return on equity right so it is generating a profit of 9.63 for every 100 um, uh, for every 100 shareholder investment in rupee terms um, now uh, again dividend yield you, you may not know what a dividend yield is, but again, you can use the tool in a similar manner to make that judgment. The more you keep asking relevant questions to chat GPT, the more you will try to get a sense of what's happening there. So hopefully uh, this gives you a good idea of how to use um, chat GPT in conjunction with uh, screener. And as you use it more and more, you will uh, tend to get better at it. So, all right, viewers, I wish you all the best in your investment journey. And if you like the video, like you like the content, uh, you may like to share it or you may want to like the video as well. Thank you very much for watching and have a very good uh, investment journey.